Hey everyone, welcome back to TechCo. In today's video, we're diving into how to create a UML state diagram using eDrawMax. If you're working on system modeling, software design, or just want to visually represent different states and transitions in a process, a UML state diagram is an essential tool. With eDrawMax, you can easily create professional and precise diagrams in just a few steps. Whether you're new to diagramming or looking for advanced tips, this tutorial has got you covered. Let's jump right in. eDrawMax is an all-in-one diagram making tool that can be used for flowcharts, mind maps, network, and UML diagrams, floor plans, office layouts, Gantt charts, business cards, infographics, and presentations. There are thousands of templates to choose from, all designed by professionals. You can choose from over 210 types of diagrams, including mind maps, flowcharts, organizational charts, and more. Whether you're planning a business strategy or designing a floor plan, there's something for everyone. Edraw Max supports a wide range of file formats, including Visio, Excel, PowerPoint, Word, PDF, and more. Now, let's talk about how you can create UML diagrams in Edraw Max. UML diagrams, Unified Modeling Language Diagrams, are visual tools used to design, visualize, and document systems, especially in software development. In Edraw Max, you get access to hundreds of UML diagram templates that you can easily modify and use for your projects. These templates cover a wide range of UML diagrams, allowing you to customize them according to your needs, whether you're working on class diagrams, sequence diagrams, or any other UML diagram type. In Edraw Max, after opening a UML diagram template, you can easily modify it. You can change the font, adjust the size, and alter the colors of different elements to customize the diagram according to your needs. When you click on Edraw AI, you gain access to a wide range of powerful AI features. These tools help streamline your design process, offering advanced capabilities for diagram generation, content analysis, and more. In Edraw Max, you have full control over your diagram's design. You can adjust the passage length to fit your content, modify the fill color of any element, and add various symbols to enhance the visual appeal. Additionally, you can insert and edit text anywhere in the diagram, customizing font style, size, and alignment. The tool also allows you to add images, providing even more flexibility to personalize and enrich your diagram. In Edraw Max, you also have the option of one-click beautify, which instantly enhances the visual appeal of your diagram. With just a single click, this feature applies a polished, professional look to your design, saving you time and effort while ensuring a visually appealing result. Now, let's see how to draw a state diagram for a bank ATM in eDrawMax. There are many types of UML diagrams available here, along with a variety of templates. I'll start with a blank drawing to guide you through the process. This is how you navigate to UML modeling. On the left pane, you'll see UML modeling related symbols. You can also remove the grid lines from here. Drag and drop the first state symbol, which represents the first state in the process. Now define the states for each process and add descriptions to the states as shown. Once done with drawing states, draw transitions to describe the relationships between them. To depict a transition between two states, draw a directed line from the source state to the target state. Now define the transition triggers as shown.
Right click and choose Fit to Drawing to fit the diagram on one page. Add colors to the states to make the diagram look more attractive. Navigate to the View tab and click on the From Current Page icon to view the diagram in presentation mode. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more eDraw Max videos. Please find the link in the description below to try eDraw Max online or download the software.